Genie is a new Peacock Holiday original film. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Peacock. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After millennia of being summoned to grant wishes of gold to blooms and hot babes for greedy men, Floor is accidentally called to service by Bernard Bottle, whose life is unraveling around him. This stars Melissa McCarthy as a genie named Flora, and Papa Asidu plays Bernard. In the beginning of the film, we understand that he works too hard. He is really focused on his job, and that starts to put a strain on his relationship with his wife and his daughter. So much to the point that he gets caught up with his work during his daughter's birthday. His wife uh, wants some time alone. She goes off to her mother's house, and he is by himself, and the genie comes. And you would think that this movie would start to focus on how he can uh, win back his wife and his daughter, but no. Uh, it takes it into so many different directions that this is probably the most frustrating movie I have seen this year. There are movies that I did not like. There's movies that were really, really bad. And then there's Genie, one that is just a mixture of all of that and it's so frustrating to watch mostly because of the way that this film is set up. The tone is really somber and it does not feel like a genie played by Melissa McCarthy would fit into the beginning of this movie because so many things are happening to this guy and he is just depressed during the holidays. Then Melissa McCarthy comes in and she lightens up the tone. And thereon, there's so much of Melissa McCarthy is out of place in this world. And they take certain moments, okay, all right, we need to focus on getting my wife back and my child back. But first, hey, we got to change your outfit because you don't look like you're in modern times. And so then that leads to all these little fun adventures that happen between Flora and Bernard. And he's really happy. And it's almost like he doesn't want to win back his wife and child, that he's just happy that they're gone. It's little focus on trying to correct what had happened between him and his wife. And there's a lot of development between Bernard and Flora's relationship and them having some genuine connections and some fun moments along the way. But the focus from where it started in the beginning to where we got the middle and later half of the film, it just goes off in these odd directions that just, make it feel very pointless and then they take this character Bernard and they did him dirty they just did not care about his development there's so many things that happened to him that just kind of sets him back like we get one step forward and then something happens and then it's two steps back he got a wrong present for his daughter and that set his wife off and she wanted to leave and certain moments where you think okay his wife is uh uh, gonna come back and they're gonna have this uh, healthy relationship and then she says no you can take your daughter for Christmas and then he's left wondering what can I do to correct my relationship build my relationship with my wife it's so far in between having his wife in the movie that never feels like that's the main focus of this movie the main focus of this movie feels like it's working on himself having fun during the holidays and if the movie was set up that way to where maybe he was just depressed during the holidays and Flora came in and showed him, you know, he can have fun and uh, look at a brighter side to life, this movie would have been so different if it didn't have his wife and child within this movie because he seems to have a lot of fun realizing that his daughter and his wife are not in his life. He starts to uh, go on these adventures with Flora. He has a lot of fun. They're cracking jokes. He's having a good time. But when it's focused on his daughter and his wife and him trying to get them back, it's more depressing for him. And there's little development for that. And then the end of the film, when he tries one last hope to get them back, it's something so simple that it made the rest of the movie feel like a journey that was not worth watching because of the way that it ended. The tone is really all over the place. Like I said, it really starts off this depressing kind of feel to it. 
there's nothing exciting going on and you feel like Melissa McCarthy would not fit into that role and when she comes into the movie they start to crack these jokes that uh, she doesn't understand modern technology she knows Jesus she sends people to hell it's just a bunch of odd things happening and then they start to have the, like the story of the mother and the daughter this does not work with the tone that Melissa McCarthy is uh, creating within the film and I did like her in the movie and I did like Papa Sidu as well I thought they had some really good chemistry but I think the focus was all over the place the communication what they wanted to get across it was disjointed it was just uh, moments okay well let's kind of redirect ourselves to get back to the story between his family but the, oh, we want to have some fun and Melissa McCarthy going on this shopping spree and uh, meeting some other uh, meeting some family members of Bernard and having some fun with that they seem to have just this little focus so much on having some comedy into it Melissa McCarthy is pretty good in here she has your typical Melissa McCarthy jokes she brings a lot of energy to the movie and really brings out a fun side to Papa Asidu's character Bernard I like them working together and the energy that they created within the film but it just felt very different when you look at the tone of the movie it forgot to develop this more serious story within the film so by the end of this movie I was frustrated with how they handled Bernard as a character and what they threw at him uh, they just had all these moments of people not really caring about him and him trying to figure things out one step forward two steps back and then just the un and just the unclear focus of what they wanted to do with the tone and Bernard they wanted to just have him be happy by himself or have him be happy with his family they didn't even know what they wanted to do so overall, Genie it had a good Christmas feel. I did appreciate that about this movie, but it was one of the most frustrating experiences I have seen this year. I wanted different style to it. I wanted a different story. I wanted a different direction for Bernard. And if they would have got rid of the family aspect to it, I think it would have been a more different film. Just have this Genie come in, grant him some wishes, have some fun with him, realize that what he is missing maybe is just... Uh, a friendship and uh, him just having fun and I think it would have been a completely different film and I probably would have felt very different about this movie but overall Genie I did not really care about it I don't recommend it I wouldn't watch it again so before I give you my score for Genie on Peacock make sure to check out my channel here I do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube I do it all here so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot and if you'd like to see where Genie ranks amongst all the other 2023 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give Genie a D+. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Genie, the new Peacock original film. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.